Hey world, it's been able to come back to another video. Fam, this is Juneteenth. Uh, I don't know if you guys, you know, know the significance of Juneteenth. I know I got family members, you know, around the nation that's not necessarily here in Texas and may not really understand that Juneteenth, the holiday is sort of celebrated in Texas. And the reason why, now me personally, I don't celebrate Juneteenth, okay? Because to me, it's kind of disingenuous to celebrate, you know, the idea or the notion that, you know, quote unquote slaves in Texas were freed two months after April 15th, 1865. Because remember, April 15th, 1865 is when they abolished slavery. Okay? But it didn't get to Texas until June. And so we celebrate Juneteenth as a remembrance of us being, quote unquote, freed two months later than anyone else. I don't know how most Texans feel about this, but to me, I think it's a, a ridiculous notion because yearly, annually, recognizing the fact that slaves allegedly were free two months after the government passed or abolished slavery is a slap in the face because they don't even talk about reparations from a, a civilized standpoint. Once again, family, this isn't about racism. It's about a race system. Because if you have any historical knowledge, then you understand that there are groups of people historically that has been, you know, wronged, that's been disenfranchised, that has been involved in Holocaust and enslavement and, you know, forced out of their home to go to California, i.e. the Japanese during World War II. Native Americans, you know, the Jewish during the Holocaust. All these groups of people receive financial reparations and to this day still benefit from those reparations. But every year we celebrate Juneteenth in Texas and no one mentions anything about reparations or anything about any type of, you know, making amends. I mean, are you serious? And so it's like, it has to be some cognitive dissonance involved. The family has been in the garden for over a year. Like I said, this, you know, this is, you know, this is normal information. Juneteenth. Two months after they abolished slavery, Texans slaves were free. This is an annual holiday that no one ever say, you know what, hey, what about reparations? Especially during a time like this, because I'm going to tell you who's suffering the most right now. So-called African-Americans. I, I did a segment by numbers don't lie. I'm going to come back with some more numbers. Check this out. Out of the 2.5 million jobs that were created in May, jobs created went up. Unemployment rate for African-Americans went up. How's that? And it's just in May. And so the next month in June, we want to celebrate Juneteenth? Are you serious? <laughs> I don't know if you guys know anything about Black Wall Street. And think about it, they call it Black Wall Street. This basically was a situation that happened in Tulsa, Oklahoma back in 1921. Uh, the area was called Greenwood District. And in the Greenwood District, there was much, much financial success with so-called African Americans. Infrastructures, banks, schools, doctors, lawyers, okay? All of this in the Greenwood District in Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1921. Now, you have to know that for that type of financial flourishment in 1921, think about that family, in 1921 in Tulsa, Oklahoma, in the Greenwood District, we had a flourishing Afro-Melanated community. Separate but equal. We had oil uh, barons that were producing thousands of barrels of oil a day. Teachers and lawyers and doctors, as I was speaking of. Now, you may ask yourself, well, what happened? 
just like the same thing that happened in Rosewood and, you know, in many southern rural areas where a young Afro-melanated man is accused of assaulting a, a Caucasian woman. And what happens after that? Melee. See, this is just... If you understand history and you look back at what happened to us, this not even during slavery, family. This was in the 1920s, 1921 to be exact. A whole successful Afro-melanated community was burnt down to the ground. They only left one building up, and it was a high school. And you may ask yourself, well, what happened? Young Afro-melanated man, young man is accused of assault in a department store. Of course, it was bogus. And why would you want to lynch that man? Okay. So the community, the white community in Tulsa, Oklahoma, wanted to lynch this young man. And of course, you know, the residents of Greenwood District wasn't having it. And they went down there and said, no, you're not lynching him. And the first day was peaceful. Right? The second day, a shot was fired. Now think about this for a minute. You know we didn't fire a shot. I mean, think about right now the going in the riots and the, and the looting. Think about who's initiating all of this organized chaos. And when that shot was fired, family, it started the destruction of the most successful Afro-melanated community in America during that time. They burned down all the homes. They burned down all the buildings. And the only thing that left up was the high school. Now, in Oklahoma right now, President Trump is going to have a big rally in Tulsa, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where this particular incident occurred. Now, you got to ask yourself the question. Does, is anybody going to mention that? Nope. But we'll go out there and protest for an individual that was killed by a police officer and not recognize the many, many thousands of lives lost, whether it was Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1921, whether it was Chicago, whether it was Rosewood, whether it was Mississippi during the Mississippi Punch Bowl, whether it was Watts, whether it's Birmingham, Alabama. Okay? And, and to have the audacity to still, and for us to even go see these movies like 12 Years a Slave and Django Unchained and Roots and all that crap. It's not by accident. Okay? So, you know, when you think about what's going on today, think about what happened yesterday. Right? And ask yourself what has changed. Politically, economically, and socially. What has changed? All right? Pay yourself first, family. And I hope this food for thought resonates. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And in the meantime, in between your time, may the most high society bring you joy and being with his out of 5,000.